Welcome to week three. So um, it's just Friday, so you should be wrapping up week two. Just kind of as a reminder, if you do emails about your homework, make sure you give us plenty of time to answer you. And if you are asking about a specific question, so for example, it's chapter three, problem two. Um, if, if you can, it's very, very helpful and we can answer you faster if you show us your calculations. So you could say, hey, you know, I'm getting this wrong. This is the way I'm calculating it. What am I doing wrong? And then it's really easy for us to just come back and say, you're using the wrong fixed cost. You're using the wrong variable cost. And here's why. So the more information you can give us in your questions, the better. So in week three, we are jumping into chapters five and six and almost done with half of the course, which is amazing. Um, so you've got your chapter five video lecture. In this week, we will be looking at variable costing and absorption costing. Um, easiest way to remember that is variable costing in only includes variable cost, direct material, direct labor, variable manufacturing overhead. Absorption costing absorbs all of the cost, and so it includes direct material, direct labor, variable manufacturing overhead, and fixed manufacturing overhead. It's an internal costing method. In other words, you wouldn't see this um, in published financial statements without a reconciliation, and so you'll look at how to reconcile variable to absorption as well, which is basically manipulating the fixed manufacturing overhead in your beginning and ending inventories. Uh, in Chapter 6, we get into um, activity-based costing, which is a way to apply overhead. So you've been doing a predetermined overhead rate with just one. Okay, sorry for the interruption, but we'll be doing activity-based costing, which is kind of what you've been doing with the predetermined overhead rate, except with activity-based costing, you have an activity rate. I'm sorry, yeah, an activity rate for every activity, and that's how you apply overhead. So instead of one calculation, you'll have as many as activities that you have. Um, and then at the end of um, this week, I have posted your exam one study guide. So your midterm exam is coming up, um, opens on Monday, and I believe it's due on Wednesday. I'll go back and look at that here in just a second. But... Um, as I say here, you know, everything we've done so far, everything in the textbook, it is a study guide. It's, and that's all it is, is a guide. You still need to go back and look at your homework, quizzes, um, look at the solutions at the end of the chapter. I think those are the best way to study. And, um, and then, like I said, that exam will be opening up. It does not require Respondus Lockdown Browser. Um, it is open book, open notes. You may not have anyone assist you. You are on your own. Um, don't look up answers on the internet. Most of the questions involve calculations, so you're not going to have time to look anything up. Make sure you have a calculator handy, and if you have any other questions, let me know.